Hi again, and welcome to our 69th test and measurement video. In a previous video, we connected the Tektronix RSA306B PC-based spectrum analyzer to the output from an arbitrary function generator. We saw the frequency domain representation of a sine wave with no harmonics other than the fundamental, which is considered the first harmonic, visible above the noise floor, and of course also of the square wave with an array of harmonics. In today's demonstration, we'll connect a WIP antenna to the PC-based spectrum analyzer and look at the frequency domain representation of a wide range of signals that are passing through the space around us at all times. In a future video, we'll connect the RSA-306B spectrum analyzer to a PCB demo board manufactured by Tektronix for the purpose of providing signals to demonstrate use of this and other instruments. The RSA-306B spectrum analyzer consists of electronic circuitry within an exceptionally rugged enclosure with an RF input to which the signal under investigation is connected. PC software, known as SignalView, is installed in the user's PC. A standard BNC cable feeds the signal through an RF adapter into the module. There is also a USB 3.0 port, which a USB cable is inserted. The other end connects to one of the USB slots in the PC. This cable provides both power and a two-way data connection, so that the PC, working in concert with the RSA 306B module, can display a frequency domain representation of whatever signal is currently present at the module input. An elaborate interface appears on the PC screen, permitting the user to work the display so as to represent the many aspects of the module's input. Since the RSA 306B has no external controls, moving parts, or internal make and break contacts, with its rugged enclosure, it should never be subject to damage. It is well suited for outdoor or factory floor usage. Here we see the PC and module with antenna connected. Notice the array of peaks occurring between 100 and 200 megahertz. These are local FM stations. The amplitude in decibels of power is shown on the y-axis. And the frequencies of these peaks can be ascertained by counting divisions along the x-axis. At first, I was unable to display these peaks, despite repeated adjustments to start and stop frequencies and span. The display consisted entirely of the instrument's noise floor, and pushing auto scale did not help. Finally, I found that the amplitude peaks appeared at discrete frequencies when I cut the resolution bandwidth, or RSB as it is known, down to 1 kilohertz. In a future video, we'll connect the RSA-306B spectrum analyzer to a PC bo demo board manufactured by Tektronix for the purpose of providing signals to demonstrate use of this and other instruments. Finally, I found the amplitude peaks appeared at discrete frequencies. By cutting the resolution bandwidth to 1 kilohertz, those peaks resolved. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so please check back frequently.